the alternative dig talk real issues real talk Nze omumbe jalu wede Lilian mbani liza makaga fe ya maja ilanga wanyungu wetu gwendo kubanga tukulia programu ya fe manyidu wanga The Voltage The Voltage gaba masa nyala ze genyini ilanga tuogira kumi nituwebia nja ulo omono muemuli ya bigenda maso mugwanga ensonga ze bebufuzi na bukule mbeze wanga Uganda tuogira kunsonga eza bavubuka edembe liobu ntu awamu nebye nkula kulana tojisubwa bulunaku oroku tani basa wa emwe ya kaungezi paka sawa satuwezeche the diaspora link buli lwakuna sawa 10 paka sawa emu eyore gulo ye program je tukuleted de wano ku alternative digital ku Uganda tugenda batu tunulira embera za bana Uganda baganda ba fe banyina fe zibawangalira mu mu mawanga agebunaira banji banyigirizibwa banji bakosebwa banji baisidwa mu amaso ne tugenda batu tunulira engeje tusobola kulongosamu embera zaabwe Tugenda kuwa tulaba, ababa kuatibu wako, abateke duwa kubanga balo ngosa embeira zineno. Tosua, bulidu wakuna, no muere zao, Nixon Segal. Hello everyone, my name is Abdal Latif and I welcome you to the Hotline Show here at the Alternative Dig Talk. As we discuss issues of national importance, join us every Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. and see who will be occupying these seats here with us. Keep it Dig Talk, real issues, real talk. Schools are open. Parents, guardians, have you prepared your adolescents that are pregnant and mothers for school? The government has given us national guidelines to assist with the responsibility of sending these girls back to school. Let us help to provide them with a safe, productive and friendly environment for their learning. They are still our children, living among us in our communities. Their pregnancies, becoming mothers before adulthood, affects them, their community and our nation. All children have a right to education. Now, let's take them back to school because completing their primary and secondary school education is very important to their future careers, personal development and being productive citizens of our nation. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Education and Sports, the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real Issues. Real talk. Uh, 22. We are into half the month and that means we are remaining with only two weeks to end this particular month. And of course, February is a bit shorter than all other months uh, that we experience in a year. Ladies and gentlemen, from wherever you're watching from, from those that are watching from the northern part of the region, those that are watching from the southern part of the region, those who are in the central, we're talking about Buganda, we're talking about places like Mitiana, uh, Kachiri, we're talking about different areas in the central Uganda. Thank you so much for watching. And those who are watching from the western part of the region, I'm talking about Fort Porto, I'm talking about Kasese, I'm talking about, uh, you know, Mbarara and all other areas. Feel free uh, to join the discussion. The Mighty Drive is uh, starting right about now, so I'd love to thank you. Uh, so so much for watching and uh, a very very warm welcome to this edition of the mighty drive show my name is edgar matthew karuhanga and uh, on behalf of the alternative dig talk allow me to say thank you and good morning on camera is a gentleman who's playing loud music is called mr jj jacob uh, thank you so much uh, for your work teddy tenjo nabukeda thank you so much and Jeremiah Muchibi, thank you so much. And everybody who is watching, for those people who wake up every day to watch the Mighty Global News Updates, thank you uh, so much. Feel free to just uh, indulge me, engage me, talk to me, send me those messages on Facebook, and uh, just go into the comment section. As always, the page is at the Alternative Uganda. Yes, so feel free to just drop in your comments. I'll be reading some of them. And I uh, have a couple of news stories that are happening in the country. There is a 10-year-old girl who was murdered 
and actually, you know, defiled uh, allegedly. And uh, her name is Christine. I'll be telling you more about her. She is uh, from, uh, you know, Changkwazi district. A lot of things happened there. And still talking about murders, two brothers were slain on Saturday night uh, in Jinja uh, district. So that is also another story that we are going to be looking out uh, for. Uh, so feel free. Yes, there are lots and lots of stories. Dominic Ongwen also appeals. Uh, you know, uh, the charges that were given unto him. And we have Mr. Kakwenza Rukirabaseja, who was watching the Mighty Drive yesterday. He has actually also said he's taking a break off social media. Mwena mwena bali mkutula boluna kuruwa, lino mwe bali kubanga mtuwe gase ko program. Vajita Mighty Drive, ebeda yobu linakuruwa mande paka kufriday, okuwa kusawe mwe, okumacha paka kusawa satu, tubeda ofe nanga. Tunyumia mwe mbozo, okulabe ngeri jetu sobulo okubanga, tichu saa mwe guanga liafe. No kubanga tuwe kula kula nyanga abantu kuna kuruwa balaza jomdo za mwala bia bagenya baba deo wano ya de discussion nunji nyo. Kuna kuruwa alero tuina edaba genya aba pia tuina guild president uwe uh, Kampala International University. Omami ono ba muita uh, musimenta Jacob agenda kuwanga atuwe gata ko uh, guild president Mr. Musimenta Jacob. Again, I could give President K. You again, I could want to get a call. Uh, then, to know, my mom, but with Hunga Wangusa, no, no, a minister wa international affairs, wali you could send a kid or a chamber go university. Charlie Kumula Mago to a following a uh, submit here where they could not call Rokubili. Now, two was our guild president, Sinti, a chichet, but they were watching a Kuzne Guanga, Tedicha, Bauli, Damunio, Bakoma Kum Kusaria, Kube, Anti, above uh, Berakova guild president. Na ye, a Tevacha Liba Liba guild president, Vetuari Tumani. Abari abafuka echa amani muguanga dino ni bavera masu ni watu ni watu kanga ba legislators ba MPs ba MPs we ba tutu ina mama mi a Charles Romusha na yali guild president na vera ko era MP umlamba tu adeko ni mama minga no but mau tu ina mama minga ba Osman ba saldo tu ina mama mi we ba chovani nyo na iruachi na fetu we buse na kuzinowe nsanji zino abafuka abote ba chasa wola kufuka aba uh, nagwa no mu politics we gwanga nyo area Uganda where did we go wrong a uh, discussion je tugenda okubera mu na kulwa ya tugenda no kuba guza bichi bigenda maso mu setendekero zaabwe zenja olumanyi amatendekero gano aga university bintu binje bitero beranga bigenda maso bitutamanya uh, so cha twagal soke tumanye exactly what is happening at these different institutions nadala ku setendekero ya Kampala International University ruli twa ino omwami okuva ku Kampala University a guild president semba jo yaliko wano iranga atunyonyole byali bigenda maso ku Kampala University kati atwagala kwebuza ye ku Kampala International University a uh, church genda mu maso jo watu ina guild president wa Mr. Musimenta a uh, Jacob agenda kubanga negata ko musawa estali zawala uh, ndozo kuba itira mukatono program ya alternative dig talk tubera ne program ya mighty drive nga energy ndiko kuva mande paka ku friday kuva sawe mpaka sawa satu ezo kumacha uh, then kuluna ku olwo kuna tubera ne diaspora link ebera ono mwami nixon praise omusumba uh, bababo gera ku bintu byenja olo ku nsonga eziruma abantu abali wabweru egwanga abantu bitero kuita bakada amana abalala bagenda okwanga bayiya ku nsimbi wabweru egwanga tuba tuogera kwabo Kuna kuwa Friday wabira ya show. In fact, kuwa kuna renyini wabira ya show wajita Fancy Flow. Eno, eno show ya muami te, yom chala Teddy Tenjo na bukira. Uh, Zibere da chika satunga kunyumiza chechi gena maso in the world of glitz and glamour. Uh, then kuna kuwa Friday tuwe ya voltage show. Ebeda ya kufasawa emwe ya kaungezi. Uh, paka sawa satu. Ebeda ni nomurulimi uh, lube ya luganda renyini. Uh, then kuna kuwa mkaga tuina the health hub. Ebeda ya kusawa itano eza kumacha omchala anita msimenta ya tero kubanga ajibela ko mpola mpola then kuna kuolua uh, sande uh, tuina ajiba ita ili soli omkuru e omchala uh, lili anduwe de avela okuwa nukuza kufa saa kumine mpaka saa kumine bili ezaka unge zino utela vila uh, tuina hotline show e vila mruli mirungereza uvalu zungu era political discussion e yoma miabdala tifa ajibela kukufa sawa E mu e ya kaunga zipaka sawa sato. You know, e program mingi ya alternative TikTok shows nyingi ezenja ulo ezi chadja. So we kumile uh, kumukutu guno toya gala kubango to, to me singa koya. Zizi neda chikaziri muenda zizaka itakusawa e mu e yo kumacha. So uh, feel free to send ke message jitu jaku wanga tuzi somambu liya wawoli mkutula vila ndaba kuwa na wami okuva elwe ngo mwami ba mwita uh, uh, innocent ainevio na kwa liwe bali kubango lawa mkutu kwa alternative uh, dig talk. Shibira cha sanyo nyo buli unakuwe mubeira munga mula ba nafe chituwa omuli mungo gama mbomanyi katugere tuweleze gwanga because tuwa salawo 
nti buli lunaku tujja kubanga tuba weereza nge gwanga so thank you so much for watching i'll be reading more of your comments wano ne wali as, as long as we continue the discussion jeremiah ali already here thank you so much uh, for watching the mighty drive ndoza kati tugende ko wali wabweru we gwanga uh, tarike kondo za mugwanga mwenye nabagambi waliyo mchala gubaita uh, Christine na mukisa onono mwana wa miaka uh, kumi joka habela wali mbifobi ya chaza anga ya, ya, ya fide in fact olina kule gulo uh, ya fide mwenjege ya badeo mchala ono omwana ono in fact ya kuatidua manyage ya Christine na mukisa ya kuatidua alleged liba mkute bama zomu kuata uh, ne bama lao kumusobi yako ya fide mudua lilo elie ntue tue uh, health center for mchala njia dafia ovu janjabi Bia uh, badeo, unakula bade uwa mande, unakula gulo, unakula sande, uwa kese za, unakula mande kubanga umchalo ono, unakula ya fili dem. So china naku nyo 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 nyo, mti omwalo ono, umano mto, Christine, na mkisa, haba mkoze kovino. Polise chano nyeleza chiche njine cha badeo, okutubu ulia, what exactly really transpired in that uh, regard. So umchala Christine, uomu wala Christine, na mkisa, ye... Bambi kumiaka kumi, yovula yavude mvula mvwe nseno, mbele tabade, uh, nujo we mbele talisa, nakabululu. Tufeka otubu, gire kukuba, uluganda babili, wali ya uluganda babili, unakuru ya Saturday, baku biwa masasa agaba jamu mvula mvwe nseno, omuli, omuwa mwita John Kawe, emiaka jiri ya satu mweta, anone mutowe, mwita Fred Bulago, uh, emiaka makumi ya satu. Nuno wanobola, wabade wa diri nga in mobile money business, Mugwanga, mu district ye ya Jinja, abami bano, baba kubi ya masasi, kuna kuru wali wa mkage chilo, wali wa nyuka, ni baba baka ya simbiza, wezi kumukiliza mu milioni kumi, za cash, ni watu wa nesimu za mobile money, nesimu za alibili, mungeri ye, chadina kunyonyo nyonyo, kula mantino binevi, ndubicha agenda maso mugwanga. Muganda wa omula lea sikadewe ya gambi, enti, Baganda baba bili bando bage za kero kubanga baba, baba ta Ugo kubanga baba isabu wiku baba baba bako sente muna mu, muwezo ugo guwa Antenvu obo muwezo guwa desemba Baba teka kira ku, ku, kuchigala che mundu ni baba bako milioni za alimu kaga Wade ukolo luna kutebatu wala ulambu wabu na ya unfortunately This time round ulambu wabu wabu tute Edawe tuwa gili langa bo Ezabu wezo zavu nikidua umami John Nkawe ne mutowe Mba muita Fred Bulago, mba mu district yu eri ya Jinja, ngo ugenda mu eastern part of Uganda. Sorry, and um, may their souls rest in eternal peace. It's really, really uh, saddening to know that young people like that, wafa uh, mungeri bwe tu, chibela chana kwenye nyo nyo nyo. Na ye, uh, sometimes we say it is what it is, cheche, chidi wote tu ina angelije tu sobula kubanga, tuchuchu, seda chika zizi no ziri kumina sato, zezaka ita kusawe mu eyo kumacha program, uliku mighty drive, Amanya ze Edgar Matthew Karo Hanga. Yokoti elagide uh, DPP okubanga emisango jia teka kuchagula nyi. Ejo kubanti ya agenda ya registering kusetende kwa Makere University illegally. Oba kubanga te ya somera. Oba hivi wandi kwa vya ina. Vye Makere le sivi tufu. Uh, koti ye saze, saze ho. Nti DPP omisango guno abenga gusula. Chagula nyono ba mugula ke misango no jali minjo mwako guwe denga. Ali mkaluluke kubanga becoming as the next president of Uganda, unfortunately, tia soo la kubanga wangule ntebe eno. Wadeno, abantu wabali mchivina ache bubalo uza. Nti omuami chagula nya wangula, akaluluka no. Ya, abantu wa singa bubalo uza. Na hii yenga ye, wabane guanga le njindi yoli manjinti no chagula nyi. Yali wakubili mkalulu akagwa umuaka ubuede. So, wale wa mtadeke misango jo kubanga wagamba ebi, ebi wandi kubi biaite ebi mala. Ilaba munga wagamba nti ate yafuna mubulu unji oba ebi, ebi papula biya ina. Atibia hali mipapulanga, uh, babifuna makubu matufu. Nja wunga waga abati ya geda kusetende kwa wa makere university. Na hivi no, akoti evi juete sene, evi sazamu negamba sibi tufu. Uh, in fact, tebi juete sene ye, uh, what is the opposite of okubi juete ka? Uh, evi clarify ze, negamba muno mwami chagula nyi Robert Center mu. Mbosango jino tejimo singa era, uh, mazima dala omwami ono chagula nyi Center mu. Uh, basa zewe misango jino bajisu. Sule, tejiri imu value according to uh, court ye gamba, tejira wa mu nsa. Uh, so mungeri ye yocha agula nyitu mtogele, chitegeza he's a free man. E, musajja, 
uh, ili frita ina buzibu wana soboro kubanga akola chona chona uh, chaya galo kubanga akola uh, mungeli unakule kukulono aluanyu mida wala viva de valentines ila osoboro no kuteka mkomenti uh, gulo za valentine yo ya tambo date ya how was your valentine uh, where were you where uh, mwanyi nana vya bantu banje vifana nyibi nji nga bantu wafunye omuligo wafunye yo kamuli ako kubango celebrating omkwano watu nakafuna uh, tewali uzibu osoboro kubanga na uoke okay, gulida mbula mbuno uino kwe ya gala ote ya gala ngolinze wa kwa gale wato jia kusobola nseno so uino kwe ya gala before abantu uh, wa uh, kwa gala so watafu nye chimuli cha valentine that it doesn't mean that you are less of a human being or you are less of yourself you are still a very very good person and uh, the world is lucky to have you. So what we have kamuli, it is okay. When I get self love, genda we buli akamuli ko. So we don't kubango on yumira Valentine's Day. Ndoza tuve kuka oto. Gele koko muami kakuenza rukira ba seja kakuenza tali wumu guanga yadu kamu na bagambi unakure gulo. Yagambi ata agenda taking a break of social media. Nange ndoza no gano vye mageza matufu kakuenza gaino kubanga agenda na go. Yeta gaso ka umule muku social media because there is that, that excitement that he had. Nga, kare wade msajja ye ayogira nye vintu vya kivizamu. Kakuenza tamanyi vintu vya kukweka. Like all authors and orators are. Baita nyo kugene nsonga za we directly. So kakuenza badala la vikidua kunyonga ayogira vya mbe vya nja ulo kumukutu ogo ogwa ku mikutu ejenja ole ja social media charity de no kugala wa account ya wali uh, ku mkotu guno ogwa twitter uh, so yagambe agenda kubanga taking off some break ave ku social media asobolu uh, kubanga na ya hiringa ngo muntu e, kubanga social media bana ngo ojigendera kenyo social media so ku influencing ngo kole bintu byotali koze bantu banji bimanya abakole bintu nenga te bali bikoze uh, so mungeri eyo uh, mwami yika kwenza lukira basaje yagambe kasoka umulemu a umulemu embere e yo alabe engeli jana ja sobulo kubanga continuing ngo muntu oba yenga kakwenza arukira basaja so mungeri yo ye social media tebugera kubanga mmula bakwe na kuzino agambe a a kasokenje umulemu katono kasane twitter page yange bali ba jigala it is still okay ye dominico ngwen omwami ono uh, gobate kake misango jo kubanga uh, mutuju terrorist abating terrorism era yali nyo mu, mu war crimes ezali mu northern part of uganda mujukira ba mu kwata mu mwaka gwa 2 abiri mu gumu mwezi gwa mukaga basala u verdict e yagamba ati omwami ono agenda kubanga ali convicted obanga kwatidwa algenze na damu na na na, na na appealing amukoti ayagala abakendeze ku um, stiku punishment je bali ba muwadde ngera gamba no punishment je bali ba muwadde je bali ba muwadde yali yamanyi ngere mugisha jime wuno angamba ali mukulaba uh, thank you so much mugisha jime for watching the mighty uh, drive kwa ali mpola mpola following a discussion uh, nga wegenda ya yeah, dominic ongwen yes cheche chigena maso omwami no dominic ongena ina peculiar story Nti ye mtu ya kulida, ila yali ya li ache kwa saga mbana ngeze Na kulida mbu tuju, sinti na ya gala, nti mbele terrorist, oba mbele rebo no Mbaza alida mbele abu etio, na yukulia mbele abu etio Na of course that does not justify you killing innocent human beings at that Because wa dechi, wa dechi, atosogula kumala gataba antu mungeri joba osanze Ye Elias Lukwago alimukwole lezo mchala Joyce Bagala antu watuwa ono kumusango jari mkwere mbana jo eja high court ejiri mu eh, kubanga akalulu bagamba akalulu kekali mu ama nkwe tu wate kari clear anga koti ya lila gide in fact baso ulo kubanga wakadamu okuja kwa mchalo Joyce Bagala ya apilinga kwa high court ila achawe ni mbane misango jino unakule gulo baba demu koti no mwami Elias Lukwago okulaba anga wageza uh, kwa okufuna mpetitioni ya kubanga uh, baju ulila obanga koti ya sazamu decision ya leo koze e, yoku damu akalu kamiti ya na uh, juki omchalo no Joyce Bagalwa ya kuba akalulu ya kakuba Judith na wakoba e, ya li omogezi wa, wa polis mumumanyi ila ya likone MP abadeko minister uh, katini sawa zina chari minister omochala oyo mungeri yeye so cheche chike na maso mugwanga lino area Uganda zizino ziwe zeda chika vidi ya zaka itakusawe mwe yoku macha Mwe bale kubanga mbade mwe kumide ku the mighty global news updates. Akanyomero, wetuwa uera maoli la gaba gafu deje mutaba deyo. 
Netula bengeli jesovulo kubanga tichu samu Egwanga da fe area Uganda Katumulemu katono wetuko mao Atugena tandika discussion Ne guild president wa setende kereno e Ya Kampala International University Tugena agena kubanga atugata kumpola mpola uh, Then no mami, no mami otahunga Ya yeah, no mami otahunga agenda kubanga uh, Tuwe gata ko mungeri yeyo uh, Kansoke no mungeri yoko kumauli da matona agena maso uh, Mugwanga kubanga abageni bacha bategeka akasoke njira mbonge zayo mpola mpola atujumie mu kumbozi here and uh, there mpola mpola tusoka tuita ko mauli agage agabadde gagena mu maso wano uh, mu mukuto gwa Nile Post mu manyi Nile Post ogono mukuto gutera nyo kuwera mauli in the real time bakugamba wano government wins case to have general sejusa back in ame yes the court of appeal has ruled in government's favor in a case in which the attorney general sought to have former coordinator of intelligence uh, services Je uh, general david uh, sejusa okubanga yegata kumaje okumao abasha muganye uh, ne omuchalo no anita amonga wagambie nti mubye mu, mu, jeko te mukili za bigambo uh, biaba ntubibagama nti jeko bolanya talibu runji onono uh, jeko bolanya yafuma mko wawelewe buwanga uh, inakwezo uh, weaita ya tafu ta, ta, yaita uteye uli ya burunji andoza mju kila ya, ya, ya chattering an aeroplane uh, wenye nyo kufa wanupaka mguwanga lile ya USA kufanga afuna uh, okubanga afuna obujanja bijukira okuchataringa plane kitegeza anti ngawo na pangise moto kaino gama ngenda 40 kapangise moto ka nevu ge mungende so ye apangisa enyonye enyonye yali kama antu abali 10 yes bali 10 abali kone o uh, speaker uh, Jacob Olanyo kubanga bagenda wali mu US kubanga ba muyambo kubanga afuna uh, ku uh, chetwaita obuyambi bo obuyambi kubula debe obugenda maso mbula muwe omwami oyo a Jacob Olanya era wano kumukutu ero gwa Nile Post bakugamba mbu uh, actually MPs have made me seven year political philosopher king na engeri mu seven year dia chusa mu region ye ya choli na aje disa saji tegera mukaluka na akawedde akubanga mu seven ine ngeje ya sweeping mu northern Uganda olusi no gamba wada abantu bagamba ba kaluna ye kati atako waka BOT akubanga ne ba MPs bono ba sweeping ze that means Olusi uh, region now ewe kwa gala mpola mpola here and uh, there. Uh, then uh, tugene maso uh, wanuwalu o mvuku kama gambi a young evil vendor. Uh, he breaks eggs near you and tricks you into compensating him. Ha, wana wata niso kuwanga waga. <laughs> Bano wenya vula mumu kampala toina choba gamba. Uh, you know, nail post kwe gambi, nti omwana mvuku ka katunda amaji age ya sizango okatuse kumbi na leo kagamba kugaga sasule kugamba mbamu ganyo gasa sula mbulu unji mwja gasa sula mbubi <laughs> na mwamu ame jeji ali wano aseka mbola mbola yes vile vige na maso mbwanga la felino ili ya Uganda mkutu oliku the alternative big talk uh, page by yita the alternative Uganda mkubanga kueleza mamita Edgar Matthew dachika zizi no zini makumi ya habili musatu Zezaka itakusawa emu eyo kumacha Mweba lekubanga mucha ali wano nafe Wano bakula ganti Dennis Bosa uh, Sorry, waswa Bosa Bamu gobye ku express nga head coach hey, uh, So sad uh, So sad, waswa Bosa ya, Yale kuli doba ya gobe dua Ya kumuli mugo gwa, es, uh, gwa express And no express wa date again Tetambula vunuja vitu wadita vili vunji nyo Nukufa eba wangula Echikopo cha Sekafa, echa wede, uh, bachi wangu ya Muzambia, yali Zambia, Malawi, one of the two countries. Uh, then neba wangu la ligi, abasaja wana ba expressi, uh, neba gena neba samba ku Uganda Cup, wade watu ka I think ku semifinals, yes. Kwa gamba, uh, last season was a season of express to express itself. Uh, na ye kati uh, head coach wa msaja mugezi nyo wa swabosa, omupira kwa Uganda kutege denyo, kabade kwa mklub zezenja ulo, ira kati agobe dua uh, kumulimu kwa express FC mkwa wano uh, guwa banji agono ge maudi ya bambi agata lisa nakabururu agagenda muma so uh, muguanga uh, government ye gambi enti umami kakwenza lukila vaseja ajaku facing emi sango je obali mu exile obatali mu exile yo government e, kakasiza enti ye misango je tejina mugu wako era ajaku banga awere uh, nemba na jo so, uh, nature agulanyi uh, against na yogi kono mkulu, uh, in fact, ya, ya, baji itawatia, ya responding zereo mkulu tibu habudwa, e, ya laze, uh, 
Yala ze ama J Aga NUP Kwekwa mbalo wa mfuka Bagambi wa atiba wafu demu NUP Bade wa mbade Ebi ambalo wa majenga bali wali ku state house e, Ntebe uh, Chagula nyabe wakanyi na gamba Ono voi na feta Tuba manyi Waba wakuli desendo manyi Aba ntube kampala muno Mama nye ngeli jeba bamu omukuru tibu haburwa. E, urusi bamu ba. <laughs> ne bamu zanyila kumutwe. Uh, so mungere chakula nye agambi enti. Mm -mm, abo siba fefe tetuba manji ba chikankane group yo. Uh, chikankane abu baade wa tulagantino ba crossings. Eh, okuwa wali mu NUP. Okubanga vega ta uh, ku NRM uh, government. Ama uli eno manji nyo 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 nyo. Agali wano kumukutu ogwa Nile Post Ida mm. uo oyagala kumanya mauli ya gasingo So ulo kubanga uh, <coughs> Excuse me So ulo kubanga oyogela ko uh, Ukebe lako wali kumukutu kwa we No laba kwa wano bakula aga president Museveni We ya meet in the We wademo Kongo uh, Ya meet in the Museveni Ya meet in the president we Kongo uh, Ndaba kwa wano uh, Felix Shishegedi We Kongo wali Omuami wa um, uh, Wa Kongo Brazzaville na ye wali uh, Wa Togo Na hiyo wali wano nyengeri jiwa soo ulo kubanga wa kendeza kupu di tatsi zino Kwa wazi gena mumaso kwe kamba ila You have to learn how to contain yourself <laughs> uh, Chila vika checho uh, President Tibu Habura Achayo Gerako ya de wali mugwanga Ilia Kongo uh, Thank you uh, Sadio Mane wano waga amba ambu Sadio Mane has a stadium named after him In Senegal Walue chisa weche watu umia Sadio Mane stadium Wali mugwanga elia Senegal. Musaji ono nubi yako lede Senegal ono vitu binji. Uh, kubanga haba ongri de chukopo chabu echa soke la dale cha Afcon. Haba wevi, haji flagi haba ji, haji wevi nze mawanga genja ulo musio na buli waba samba. Musaji ono mani baba laba e gwanga java e diri elia e gwanga lino elia Senegal. Uh, then US President Joe Biden, eh, ya, ya yogede koko no muami Vladimir Putin, nga bo gira kusonga ya Russia ne Ukraine, na bagambi ulinakure bulonti tension ze yongera wali ku boda, boda ya Ukraine, ne buwanga lino elia Russia, uh, tension zicha agenda muma so mpola mpola uh, so mungeri yeyo, uh, Joe Biden ya kubide ko muami ono Vladimir Putin, maybe okumanga amugamba amu, amu guidance, na yate hii According to Vladimir Putin, Bagamambu, uh, but if I na any, if I just want to know they are ready for war or something with Ukraine, no. Uh, but if I check this, I'm going to go to Ukraine. I'm backing. I'm going to go to Ukraine. I'm backing. Yeah, my wanga gari mo North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Even though, uh, directly, you know, uh, Ukraine never quite got to NATO. Na ye, uh, saw was no lava help. Jeva funa yo na eva mo NATO. Uh, eva mu USA, eva mu Guangeli, eva mu Ungereza, eva mu Faransa Bona wali mabega wa uh, Guangeli no Elia Ukraine So ne wati wagenze ku battle front O kubanga balu wana in case Or if War broke out Na hila basikala bacha inaka leverage Inti Eba inevi intuwe bako la uh, Bagena funa resources USA eba was Eba wa mamundu Wade ega Ndoza wawide ko e Chombe cha de chingi dama zige rush e Chombo cha US e Chombo cha maita uh, uh, chiba chombo chibi la kenyo nye ezilu wana I've uh, forgotten how they call that it's, it's called an aircraft carrier Yes, njinjo kideli nye Aircraft carrier Nti amanyo nye Owe nyo nyezo na Ezibe la zilandi nge Zigendo okulu wana Zigendo ezijo kurifuweli nga uh, So uh, air, aircraft carrier Yaba demu mazi uh, ga Russia Owe ya demu international waters Eza Russia na inga teno carrier E belonginga to the United States Baba United States babi ya wakanye Abasaja Amerika nga baga amba no a sibi ntubi tufu na henga ata agali munda Nga kakasantino Basajja wano wata antisubi da ukubanga Bajamba Ukraine Ukubanga baji, ba, ba, baji tegeka Na henga yo e, Amerika tesobula kubange fulumi ya sasi Ukubange wani sa Russia Because katia wawaba sparking the off Chena wagambe e, chinizo kubela Chema hita ka World War 3 Wabaka mini World War 3 uh, Because omutu umuta niko USA weta niko fulumi ya Sasinge wani sa Russia That means Abantu wama kiliza mu Russia Wama wanga waka kiliza mu Russia Gajja kuba na gonga Gakola chema hita Counter attack uh, Ngatene ama wanga waka kiliza mu USA As a super power Na kuka baga 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 ino muega Tako katu USA ina ama wanga waka Na baga ambia mwanga waka Belgia Ama wanga waka France Ama wanga waka England Ama wanga waka Canada Ama wanga waka genja ulo Gwa hita waka West uh, West Western countries Over Western economies Zeza Atenga Russia Yo wadeva mu Eastern Europe Na ina ye ina wasajia Baji kiliza mu wasajia Angaba China Naso ulo kuja ni bayi amba Kwa South Korea Juka baga amba A friend uh, an, a, a friend to your enemy 
you know, an enemy to your friend <laughs> is also your enemy. And, uh, uh, you know, an enemy to you uh, is also an enemy to your friend. So, um, Saja Kim Jong Un, North Korea, or Ulida, and the Omami or no, uh, Omami Joe Biden, or US Air Gaku and Sarasha, of course, Abaja Kuega Taku Russia, Abenga Naya, Alwani, and Mungere. What was the matter on what we attend to call Air Soccer and those are from 1914 to 1918. First World War, Omuji Jukira, uh, then Second World War, Rabi Ebimu, Ebi Ariwo, Second World War, Tujukira, Era Webitu Ebitandika, Omujamani Agala Fuko, Wama, Anyo, Omujamani Akuba, Entisa, uh, Japan, Ejese, e, 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 Ambe Kujamani, Baba Kuba, <laughs> Doza Mujukira, Chema Akura Hiroshima, e, Gwangere, ya Japan, Bari Kuba, Nyo, 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 Nebari Tseka, Wanse, Gwangere, ya Japani, Bari Kuba, uh, Kwa Gamba, uh, Wezi Cho, Wezi Wezi Tandika, Cho, Vola, Wabine, Ebitu Webitu, Embi Ulira, Nga, Bantu muyugando hizo gamba tenze vini kwa atako vita Ate vini kwa atako na yenga uh, ulusi chibeda uwe chitio So thank you so much for watching the Mighty Global News Update Sabagenji wa febaba na ndaba batu tu seko Eda chika ziri ya satu mwe, mwe zaka itakusawe mwe yoku macha Katu umulemu katono, wetuko mao Atugenda uh, kutani kila uwe njini na wagambe tuina Guild President Owa Kampala International University Omwami Musimenta Jacob Wali uh, Tuina no mkule mbeze okuva mchambo go University Onono Minister of International Affairs Amanya ye otakunga wangu Sabagenda kuwanga wane gata kupaka zilize njini uh, sawa satu ezo kumacha Katumulemu tukomeo <mulemu>
here at the Alternative Dig Talk. As we discuss issues of national importance, join us every Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. and see who will be occupying these seats here with us. Keep it Dig Talk. Real issues, real talk. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues, real talk. Yes, uh, 36 minutes past the top of the hour of 7 a.m. Welcome back from that short commercial break. You're still watching The Mighty Drive Show. My name is Edgar Matthew Karuhanga, and I welcome you to this edition. As I promised you, I have the guild president of Kampala International University, Mr. Musimenta Jacob, is already in studios with me, and the Minister of International uh, Affairs at Chambogo University, that is Mr. Otahunga. Uh, Wangu. So we're going to be talking about different things. Allow me to welcome these two gentlemen in studios. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, Edgar. How are you? Uh, good morning to our mm. viewers, and uh, thanks mm. for hosting me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. It's my first time to have the new president of Kampala International University. You're welcome, Mr. Wangu, sir. Uh, thank you, mm. Edgar. How are you doing? I'm all right. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, is, is that attire symbolic? You know, in literature they say, uh, the way someone looks like, they always symbolize something. Is the red on purpose? Is it NUP to be just uh, particular? Not really. Mm. Yeah. It's it's just, just, just on my dress code. Oh, okay. Kali, uh, good to see you, gentlemen. I'm going to start with um, the guild president of Kampala International University. How is KIU going? KIU is going on well. Mm. What is well about KIU? Like, in terms of the reopening of the schools, you guys are studying now, are there online classes? How is just the, the general atmosphere at Kampala International University after mm, reopening? Well, you're all aware that uh, the country was opened in January yes. and the economy was fully opened. Our students are allowed to go back to school as it was before COVID. Mm. Our students are attending lectures as usual and at KIU, that's mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm. Unlike uh, other universities where I heard mm. they have blended learning, at KIU students are attending lectures normally mm. as it was before COVID. Okay, so you did take up the innovation of online education? Well, during the lockdown, mm. we took it up. Yeah. Uh, before the lockdown came in, mm. we were almost going for exams. But mm. uh, when lockdown came in, we didn't stop. We continued with the university program. I mm -hmm. uh, went, did exams. Mm -hmm. That was around uh, July. Okay. Then after July, we proceeded with the online examinations. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that began around August. And uh, when we came back in November, mm -hmm. uh, I think we went for tests and uh, final exams in December, and the semester was done. Mm -hmm. So when the economy was fully opened in January, we came in and proceeded. And I'm as I'm speaking now, mm. the semester is going on, students are attending lectures wow. as normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great to know that. How about Chambogo University, Mr. Wangusa? How is it going there? Uh, well, thank you. Good morning once again, mm. our mm. viewers. Mm. Uh, Chambogo is not any different from mm. KIU. Maybe the only difference is uh, for us, even during lockdown, we couldn't take on uh, during lockdown, we couldn't take on the online studies. Mm. And uh, it was for one simple reason. Mm. Uh, there were the nine terms and conditions that were put forth okay. by the National Council for Education and uh, in connivance with the Vice Chancellor's Forum. And the guild leaders by then, who mm. had uh, gone to write Honorable Speaker Kadaga, mm. by then it was on 14th October in 2020, in the mm. first lockdown, yeah. when uh, they were in position to ask or task the government, how are these institutions of higher learning going to proceed? since mm. the president of Uganda said that COVID-19 can hardly affect the youth. Yes. So it was from that uh, engagement that they have the, the nine terms and conditions for any institution of higher learning adopt online. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Unlike Chambogo, where yeah, we saw very many administrators saying you have the strongest Wi-Fi, you have the best ICT infrastructure, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they would contradict themselves and say, we cannot do anything online. What you, what you are boosting, isn't that a paradox? You're saying you have good Wi-Fi and you don't... And that's why we were questioning them, mm -hmm. because we happen to have the Vice-Chancellor, Katungu, okay. Ka-Professor, Rajshai Peter, we also give him a PhD, that's mm -hmm. how I see his name. Mm -hmm. He happens to be the chairperson of the vice chancellor's forum. He also happens to be the chairperson of the university council. Mm -hmm. or, I mean, of the National Council for Education. But then he's the same person that failed to implement. Because even at the end of the day, when we came in as student leaders to ask the, the university, our prayer was, can we have all these nine terms and conditions adopted by the university, mm -hmm. such that all the online platforms are zero rated? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure. Are those the, the terms and conditions you're talking about? Yes. yes please elaborate them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one was uh, zero rating all the online platforms mm -hmm. for, all, for all students, mm -hmm. increasing the Wi Fi network connection and uh, all the boosters. Yes. Then uh, making sure that uh, the students with special abilities, what most people always call students with disabilities, mm -hmm. but for my prefer calling them students with special abilities, mm -hmm. how they are going to be catered for. Make sure that these virtual labs, they would be in portion provider uh, for the engineers for any practical subject or any practical course mm. are in existence. Mm. And uh, make sure that online or ODEL, that is open distance and electronic learning, mm. is modified into a policy. Because mm. the university, we understand the in, a, in a university system, everything must operate under a policy. Yeah. So not until ODEL could be formulated into a policy to align with the old existing policies like the fees payment policy, mm. then it wouldn't make any sense neither would the fees be to be failed. Because mm. there's no way a student can continue paying functional fees of which functional fees they included uh, mm. the library fee, medical fee. And they're not fee. using these things. Yes, mm. and they're not using them and then you again want them to sit back home and do online. Mm. So it, it was a matter of formulating it into a policy such that after it is after it being formulated into a policy or embedded in the university policies, mm. they can align in that in that line of that fees payment policy, also the examinations policy, how do we do exams online? We saw what happened in Makere when they were in for their Mueri examinations. Mm. On the first attempt, everything failed. For this real examination, they had opt for take home assignments, mm. where they give you a paper, you stay with it for around 48 hours, some would even spend with it a week, mm. and then you ask yourself, at the end of that day, how is this one contributing to my career development when everything mm. seems to be that you team, yeah. the skills I'm supposed to be having at the moment, or I'm supposed to be gaining at the moment. Yeah. So those were a few, they were the major the reasons as to why you couldn't go online, unless... So, so, so that sure. means Chambogo did not go online throughout that time you have been at home. So right now you're just restarting. Yes. That means the student lost practically two years. No, right. they didn't lose uh, that much because mm. uh, as I'm talking right now, mm. you know, when we are talking about the, student, the, uh, the role of student leaders mm. for the, in the national building, mm. when you are in for our activism roles like uh, the Fixed Education Campaign in Uganda, I'm, I'm sure you must have heard about yes, it. Yes, I have. Well, with those of uh, Shamim Nambasa, mm. even Katia Gajwas, the then Guild President, yes. the same Vijay mm. uh, I, I had that, him talk about it on the drive here. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. very, very many Guild Presidents and other Guild leaders we had. Yes. But at the end of that, we don't know what happened to them. Right now, you're seeing them crying. Mm. So when one, great, when one great man says that uh, the only thing every man can do for them, so you think for themselves, mm. we don't think that we took a bad decision. Because at the moment, they are suffering mm. for the decisions they took, and it's partially opened. But we who started with them and had to stick mm. to our decision, Chambog is freely opened. Okay. And uh, there's no any difference because the students, uh, over the weekend I was engaging some students from Makere. Mm. The students I started with in 2019 intake, academic year, mm. we are going to graduate together in 2023. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Kali, uh, thank you. I, I want to pick the mind of uh, Mr. Musimenta that yes. throughout you've been uh, you've been a lockdown guild president, yes. and just to find out how has this year been for you in terms of leadership? Uh, what? How can you account to the students and to Ugandans for that this one year of tenure that you've been in office? It's been fabulous, but it's been a one year. Well. Mm -hmm. As you see, it, it has been a challenging one. Leading during a lockdown, it comes along with challenges. Mm. And as those challenges come along, it ca they come along with con constraints. Yes. When you're handling them, sometimes you're constrained. Mm. Uh, it's not easy to tackle some of the challenges uh, during the lockdown. However, we tried our best. Mm. Uh, for example, Care is not, so, is not a difference to
to mm. other universities. Yes. It has been having those challenges uh, affecting the online studies. Mm. Uh, for example, students are toiling to get data. No. Network, no. Not uh, the, all of the country has mm. the best good network. Yeah. Others are low, others are Internet penetration is still exactly. low. Exactly. Mm, sure. So those are the challenges that some of the students we are facing. Others we are not in position mm. to do the exams. Mm. But what we did, we engaged the administration that those who are not in position to do these exams, what remedy is available for them? So we made an arrangement that the moment they come back, let them do these exams and proceed with the other semester. Mm. We tried so hard as the students' leadership in engaging the administration that let all students be accommodated because if they do not have a network, it's not mm. their fault. Mm. It's the fault of the country. So this why should the student mm. be denied the mm. opportunity to study? Yes, yes. Why should the student be denied the right to education, mm. which is entitled to? Mm. And I want to thank the administration uh, when we were pursuing this. Mm. Uh, we worked hand in hand okay. to see that also those who miss the exams were in position to catch up. You've, sp you've spoken from the point of view of the students, uh, the, the challenges they've been facing. But I want to pick yours as an individual coming into uh, you know, such a time. How are you? Like, what are those challenges for you as an individual you, you, you went through throughout your tenure? Because it's coming to an end soon. And I'm seeing some people here advocating for uh, one Kenneth. I, I want to know more about that Kenneth gentleman who's coming for your presidency. Mm, well, yeah. Uh, I'm not here to speak about uh, mm. Swan, so Swan, yeah, so. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm <really laughs> to myself on the challenges <laughs> that we, feel, yeah. we face. Mm. Well, I'm also a student. Uh, the challenges faced by students, I also faced yes, them. However yeah. much I may not have faced the challenges that may have faced mm. by the, that, that uh, lower student, mm. I may not uh, be in that position. Okay. However, as a student's leadership, in lobbying and advocating for this, this, and this. You know, when you come into leadership, mm. there are certain things you come, you have on your agenda. Yes. You need to execute. Mm. But, mm. but, but mm. the lockdown didn't uh, mm. allow us to execute our mandate. Mm. Now, we were ushered in in office in the December 2020. No schools were opened, any universities were opened in March. Mm. Then lockdown, came in, in June, June yes. only three months. Yeah, then had to then come back. we had to come back in uh, November. The time we came in November, we were going for tests and final exams. You know, mm. it's only like 40% uh, of our mm. time mm. Mm. that was spent at campus. Yeah. The 60% online. Mm. So you will find that the things that you wanted to execute during your time of office, we are not in position. Yeah. We only dealt with solving this and this, this and this. Students are going for exams, no network. How are we going to accommodate? You find out that entirely our leadership was mm -hmm. dealt with challenges. Yeah, I understand. You get it? Yes, so understandable. Okay, uh, maybe to just pick your mind lastly, before I bring in uh, Mr. Wangusa, there is a challenge that we had of uh, the School of Engineering, where students, you know, graduated, but they are not certified because the university was not certified to teach that course. They are just maybe to pick your mind. Is there anything that was done by the university? Are there some things you're doing to help these people? What is there? Because these, these students were saying they are hanging in a balance. They have a course they paid for, for a long time, but this course is not viable. Like, they, they cannot practice because they are not certified, apparently, to be, you know, experts at that. Do you have any comment you'd love to make for what, some of your students that went through this particular challenge? Well, I remember that uh, happened in 2019, in 2017. Mm. And uh, by then I was still uh, a new student. But the challenges that they faced uh, I think, uh, was it the license that had expired? Mm -hmm. But that was rectified. And the engineering course was taken to Western Campus. 
it's no longer at main campus. The one at Ishaka. And uh, let me assure you, KIU mm. has one of the best engineering schools. Mm. What, what should exactly. he say? <laughs> yes, because one Jamu of the is best. known to have the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, yeah. and I think in a few years, a few years it will be better than Jambo. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what happened, uh, K isn't an exception mm. to any other institution. Every mm. institution has challenges. Yes, of course. But those challenges cannot stop an institution from going forward. Mm. Care you had such challenges, they were rectified, and mm. it's going on well. Okay. Well, okay. Mr. Wangusa, I know you have had challenges as well. I've, I've, I've interacted with your guild president a couple of times on this particular show, and he has been showing us very many challenges, starting from the challenges in the administration working with you. I think that is the biggest challenge, the students working together uh, with uh, you know, the administration. But what, what are those that you feel we should start on right now? Like if you were to talk to the university administration, what is that that Chambogon University, as you are Minister of International Affairs, what is that that the government needs to start on? Or the people responsible, the leaders at that institution, where should we start from in terms of the challenge? Uh, all right, uh, thank mm. you. Yeah. Of course, uh, I must take cognizance of the fact that uh, there mm. are very many challenges yeah. at Chambogo, mm. Banda Hill. Mm. And uh, if I was, some of the challenges, by the way, even beyond the administration. Because yeah. right now, I'm, sure, I'm very much sure that it is only my academic year, the first intake I had in August in 2019. Mm that were the pioneers of having tuition taxed. Because everything that we pay by you are is taxed. And it's since then that uh, the budget of education financing, or, or in that education sector, has totally reduced. So some of these challenges are always beyond the administration. But even before we get to the challenges that are beyond the administration, mm -hmm. what have we done for the university? We understand that there must be a cordial relationship between the student leaders and uh, the administration. Mm. But unfortunately, at most times, you have always faced challenges where but you find that the sole purpose of the guild leaders is to promote and protect the interests of the students, yes. of which some of them, some of the interests have been positioned to protect and promote. Mm. But then, even the sole purpose of the university administrators, now like the university senate, the one which is responsible for the academic steering, staying the academics of the university, mm. at the end of the day, you will find that uh, however much they are coming with medals, say that, yes, Chambo got the strongest Wi-Fi, it has mm. the best ICT infrastructure. They're still controlling themselves. All those scripts are always there on media. They're, they're the doing PR, PR because yes. it feels like they're doing PR. Sure. Because mm -hmm. even when they were being pushed to bring the student leaders, we are not the ones that used to tell lecturers, please don't go mm. and teach online. Because mm. these lecturers have not yet been trained online, neither have they been assessed, and most of them would adamantly refuse. Neither would the university purchase the Zoom licenses, neither was it any willing purchase the Zoom licenses or any online the electronic mm. means of learning mm. to purchase their licenses. So at the end of the day, it wouldn't be on the side of the students alone. It would also be on the side of the lecturers. So mm. at the end of the day, right now, Chambu University has been restructured. I do not want to quote uh, Ms. Dr. Hanim Tony's statements, the vice chairperson of Chuasa, the mm. Chambu University Academic Students Staff Association, mm. where uh, he was blaming the vice chancellor. Of course, I cannot. I don't have the benefit of that information. Mm -hmm. But still, have had those challenges where they are saying the workload has been increased from ten hours a week to fifteen hours, but then no increment in payment. In so a total Uganda policy. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen now? Like most of the lecturers are absconding from duty, and most of our students in the evening class mm -hmm. can no longer meet those lecturers as they should meet, because for the for us the day students. We are somehow advantaged that we meet those lecturers at the required time, but the mm. evening students are at some point disadvantaged. Mm. Then uh, another challenge, uh, it was uh, perhaps from we ourselves, the student leaders, and always happens in each and every government, whereby, of course, these are university politics and uh, this is the university leadership. We are not supposed to be at rock or looking holes over each other, mm. because at the end of the day, our service we will keep nipping in the balance. But then we were in position to pull ropes. This one is perhaps protecting the students of the protect, protecting the interests of the students and another one is protecting the, their own interests. Before even they front the interests of the students, they are fronting their own interests. Because we can only protect the interests of the students by engaging them. This should be a collective responsibility. Mm -hmm. You cannot have a collective responsibility when you have not gathered collective ideas. Yeah, but it feels like the, the challenge as we go for a break, it feels like the main challenge is is in the administration. Yeah, you, sure. the, there is a way that they are not on the same line. But uh, how can you move an institution forward yet 
you as the pioneers are not on this is the same status quo thinking line uh, the if i'm to give it a benefit of doubt mm. uh, why perhaps that change is there yes it's yeah. because you're sure that uh, it is not an important man that can allow another man to save his wife mm. <laughs> so but we brief for the 18 years mm. chamo has been in existence mm. yes because those institutions i take you think they were there mm. in the 1948 mm. but chamo as a university after merging all those institutions it mm. was in 2003 and since 2003 up to now those are 18 years mm. we believe we have professors we believe we have doctors because even right now chambo university they produce doctors mm. and all these are people that are supposed to be in top management at least dominating mm. we are because we cannot deter ourselves from perhaps creating a generational conflict we know we are still a young university yes. though we are taken to be the best university Mm. but we be we are somehow young maybe you are not think she are the best university <laughs> no such as the south of them some of them okay yeah, our brothers are striving striving so much mm. so that they can even be at the same level in oh. terms of becoming engineer wow yes okay they are striving so hard uh, okay. so at the end of the day you find that uh, since this are not passionate because i cannot love your mother more than you mm. most of the time it goes back to the passion if you started a business and made him a manager mm. would be ending at his remuneration Yeah. Not that the pride of the business mm. how does the business prosper or progress to the next level you look so at how much he gets how much he gets okay so at the end of the day we come to find that mm. chambu is becoming more of a business instead of a service center like all education institutions mr wangu said just to inform you these days there are businesses than services that ugandans should be enjoying for me alternative dig talk real issues real talk are you guys ready okay let's serve uganda As promised, we deliver. We are redefining the social media narrative, asking tough questions and holding your leaders accountable. We are non-partisan and break down having a conversation with Uganda. We are the mighty drive. We hold debates that give you viable solutions. We bring to you people that you've always wanted to listen to. We are gender sensitive and give space to the unheard voices. Not forgetting the quote of the We are live on our social media platforms. The Alternative Uganda on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter from Monday to Friday, 7 to 9 a.m. Don't miss the debate behind the wheels and studios. I am Edgar Matthew Karuhanga and Princess Luwe Delidian. Expect in-depth analysis, credible, factual and authentic information. We are the Alternative Dig Talk. Real, real issues, issues, real talk. talk. Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defence Spokesperson and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defence Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Dig Talk. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch, participate, give your views and ask questions on Alternative Dig Talk. Dig Talk, the way to go. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.
It's 8 a.m. Welcome back from that short commercial break. You're still watching The Mighty Drive. Mr. Mugisha Jimmy Randai says, the guild president is influencing us to support his candidate, yet we have NRM primaries, which will pave the way for our candidate for whichever corner, hence the electoral college. He also continues to say the show is amazing. Thank you so much for watching. And he says, I believe as the outgoing guild president of KIU, he is in capacity to talk about the roadmap of the guild race. I think you, 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 you didn't talk about the Kenneth who he was talking about. That's how he's saying that you need to talk about it. He will talk about it later on in the show. I have Mr. Uh, Tomosime Edrin. He says, Wangusa Abdumajid Hashim, and he puts fists up. I think uh, that is your sign with him. And Innocent, he says, he's tuning in live from Lengo District. Thank you so much for watching. I have a gentleman called uh, Muchunguzi Pop. He's here. I have Tomosime Edrin. He's watching. Uh, I have Owasam Koleb. He says, thank you for your presentation, Bashapend Brothers. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, then Nagamba, they are very, very great updates and insights. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Keep the conversation coming through. I'll be reading some of your comments as we continue with the show. Remember, the topical discussion was, why is it that the people, uh, the guild presidents, are not growing into the cream de la cream we thought they would be? Many of them have that trajectory where they stop, and uh, sometimes it becomes their epitome of success never uh, to go forward uh, from that. And uh, before we go into that discussion, I want to just pick your mind in just maybe three or two minutes. You can talk about this. The, the gentleman, he, has, he talked about something about the NRM primaries. And uh, before he came on the show, there's someone who also talked about it. He says there is a way Kampala International University politics are, show, uh, uh, are directed to help uh, people who believe in the NRM. That uh, even the, 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 there is a way you people uh, who are uh, from the NRM government, it's easy for you to, to get into office. It's like the system we have in this country already, that it's pro NRM already. Are these allegations true? And if they are true, what, what, what should we do about them? Uh, those allegations are not true. Number one, KIU mm. is a non-partisan institution. Okay. And as per the Guild Union Constitution, mm. political parties are not allowed. Get okay. it? Yes. But now, if the institution does not allow political parties within, mm. does it stop you from uh, getting involved in uh, activities of your party, mm. even outside? Okay. It does not stop. Mm. If they stop you within, mm. you invoke other means of how to exercise them, not within the premises of the university. Mm. Yes. But it feels like in the premises, that's what it says, but in, like for, for an NRM candidate, it will be easy in the premises to do your work. But if you are not NRM, you won't do your work. You only do your work outside the institution. No. Oh. That is how it feels now. like. Is there any student that was barred from having engagements and meetings of any other political parties apart from the NRM? You can decide to meet like in a certain classroom and discuss issues of national importance, discuss issues about your party, not publicizing it in the university that this is and this because the university doesn't allow it. But we can sit and as colleagues and discuss about it. I think that's what other political parties have to do. Okay. Not taking it to greater heights, putting on the uh, colors of the party, doing this, this, and this. Because it's bad by the institution. And also, as I told you, you can practice all your party activities outside the university. Sit, engage. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not my fault, or it's not the fault of the NRM for other parties failing to invoke other methods. If they stop you in this, you invoke this. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I say the NRM is a bit smarter than others, uh, which has helped it to continue. But so those, also, those other political parties can also invoke the other methods. Mm -hmm. and so they proceed. should just be smart and tactical. They should be smart and tactical. Okay. If they stop the, them in this way, they should also invoke other There's always another means. Exactly. Let, let me start with, with Mr. Otahunga. Mr. Otahunga, on the topical discussion of the day, what went wrong? 
I'm going to give you an example. We had Asman Vasalira, Guild President, he's now a legislator of Fiji. We had Nobat Mao, a very uh, prominent gentleman who's still the DP president, even up to now. A man who has been in the Constituent Assembly, a man who has been in the Parliament, and a man who has left a mark in this country, who will forever be remembered because at least he has stood the test of time. And he was a good president of Makere University. He's now a gentleman who's there. Charles Shomushana, renowned activist, member, former member of parliament, former guild president. But when you enter the, the, the decades of uh, the 2000, from 2006, seven, it felt like now the cream de la cream, 15 years. We are, we are into now 18 years. And these people are not, we don't have that vibe, for lack of a better word. People uh, always come as guild presidents, and most of them, their political career stops there. Do you think, uh, what could be some of the reasons why this is happening? Are we as a generation failing somewhere? Is there something we're missing, we're not seeing? Uh, well, uh, thank you. You see, when we get back to politics, uh, yes. of course we believe that essentially a man is born a political animal. Yes. Uh, and uh, we have always asked ourselves, where are the good presidents of Chambogo? at the end of that day. Mm -hmm. We have had several good presidents. There we are lucky enough that uh, the first female ever good president of Champogo, Honorable Brenda, now Kenya, mm -hmm. is the woman district MVP of Uwea. At least we have where to start from. Mm -hmm. I said it's not yet too late run, but then mm -hmm. what have we done? Yes, please. Uh, yes, we also focused on the fact that uh, it is only Champogo University that has a few mm -hmm. honorable, honorable MPs in parliament. And perhaps that's why uh, when we always, because we understand we have very many windows of advocacy, but then, Parliament would be one of them. So where do we reach out to, even when we don't have our own people there? Because they would be the best people to resonate with us. Mm. Uh, maybe perhaps what went wrong is, uh, when you are getting into politics, what we front first? At the end of that day. Is it money? This is, I would say, money. This so is if you are fronting yes. our personal interests, at the end mm. of that day, rest assured, you won't go anywhere and do you continue prospering. Like he said, it is a university, so it is... We are there in diversity from across the universe, across the boundaries, even beyond Uganda. So whatever you do there as a good president, we'll follow you even to where you're going. Mm. So if I'm in position to be a good president and I do nothing mm. for the people, then at the end of that, even I go to my visit contest, people will be like, oh, he was a president at Chambo, but then what did but you do for, you you do for you Chambo? You to be a president and you don't do anything. Even if you are, you, are, you are that, let me use the word, the lousiest of them all, mm. you will still do something. Of course, a leader does some, cannot do everything, yeah. but does something. But then it matters, what have you done? Mm. Is it good or negative? Yes. If it is negative, at the end of the day, trust me, it will be trivial for your future mm. to continue pros uh, prospering that political career. We had uh, if, if very many aspirants from Chambogo vying for those positions. A one is Chichonje Evren from Ibanda North. But then she had to fail. Reason, she was not grounded on how best to, run, to take on her political career, even after university. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we come back and ask ourselves, why, how is the university shaping us to be political leaders in national politics? Yes, he's saying KIU is uh, a nonpartisan uh, mm -hmm. institution. institution. But we must understand that uh, institutions of higher learning, especially universities, we are custodians of knowledge. Wherever we go, my brother, I'm doing much of us with education, but when I'm, I, I'm in the village, He's at university. People will even be in position to brand me a doctor mm. just because I've been at university. They believe in you. They believe mm. in whoever has gone to university, yes. whoever has reached that level. Because mm. if you would want to know that a degree is something that is very, very expensive, when on your graduation, ask the people how many ever went to school and how many ever put on this graduation cap or this graduation motor. A very few of them. And we'll be in position to understand. It is not all about money because we have seen some students graduating on scholarships. Their whole life has been on scholarship. But at the end of the day... I'm by, one of those. By the mere fact that, uh, we thank God for that. Mm. By the mere fact that some of us are not in position to tap into those opportunities, or some of us are not in position to polish our very own character. So our political career shall end there. Mm. We have also got people who come on board and uh, they're in position to, to take over those big positions of course. A guild president is the fountain of the guild. Mm. Like uh, the president is the fountain of the country. So at the end of the day, what are you fronting first? Should you go that front to your interests? Because we understand these are institutions that always have a budget. You go there, front to your interests, at the end of the day, some of them wouldn't but even be important to finish uh, their careers. Mr. Wangosa, the, the, the aspect of the resources and the interests, we are not going to put it at, at, at aside because I'll pick his mind later. And 
ask him how much money he invests in that in going to office to hold that office mm. and of course as any human beings you you want to repatriate your profits that yes i invested a billion mm. i have to get a billion plus and that's we are in a capitalistic yes. economy <laughs> it's not something you are not doing it intentional mm. or intentionally but it is there and that's where we are going wrong mm. if you are the alternative government or if you are the alternative uganda at our level do we need to buy people's stupidity for a lack of better word? I'm very sure that I cannot buy his vote. Mm. Okay? So that's why I'm saying, why should we buy people's stupidity? Because if I'm sure that I cannot, mm. even if I give you a, one billion, but on the voting day, it is John Bosco who convinced you, who has got reasons to be voted, to remain secret ballot. You eat my money, you John come Bosco and vote for me. have money and I also bring money. The one who has the more money is the one who goes with it. No. This is Uganda. Uh, that is not the case with the mm. institutions of higher learning. And uh, perhaps, for purposes of credit, for Chambogo University, you might have billions of money, you might be very smart and looking, but when you're not smart in the mind, when you cannot argue, when you cannot write, trust me, you won't go into that office. We can go on statistics for that. Okay. The current grade, the president didn't invest in any monies. Mm. It was us, the Gerasis, who are subscribing to him, that use it even to front. All the Tim Chipande, all the well, posters. Wasn't he the gentleman who didn't even have his photo on the ballot paper? Yes. Uh, I'm forgetting his name. His Excellency Mbazira John Yeah, Mbazira. Yes, but then we had several candidates from other parties and uh, other political associations, and most, some of them were even independent. Buying ice cream for people, bring, even taking in costas and uh, taxis to bring people, giving them money every day and night, day and night, doing everything, but at the end of the day, our message reached out to people and we are very much gathered in a policy based leadership. Mm -hmm. We have been positioned even when we had a leadership in crisis, like he said, 40% mm -hmm. of his regime only physically at mm -hmm. campus, 60% mm -hmm. at home there. Yeah. But for us, even when we had leadership in crisis, we were in a position to revoke a policy. Mm -hmm. That was a financial new manual policy and uh, the university was proposing that even before you enter campus, you must have kept zero balance. Mm -hmm. But understood under that financial new manual policy, there was also a six weeks policy. Yeah. So we had to conduct a collective survey to get collective ideas and how to yeah. petition. Because we understand that the university council charter grants us that mandate as students. Okay. That is section 5.9. How to regain petitions and everything. And we revoked that policy. Yeah. So really we believe that even when there is leadership in crisis, provided your are protect and promote the interests of the students, you will be in position to do something for the people. Okay, I have a gentleman called Wamala Charles who just asked, what did Brenda do right uh, in order for her to culminate into a um, member of parliament. But you're going to answer that. Let me first bring in uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, this gentleman talked about resources. And uh, it's also another pivotal uh, you know, aspect of why some of the students maybe may not be going. But I want to pick your mind as well. You can first elaborate to us how much do you think you, you invest to become a president of a big institution the Kampala International University. And maybe you also paint uh, a picture for us to, for, to just help us find out. Uh, why do you think, you, oh, do you even have those, the future prospects of becoming a legislator or president of this, this republic? Nothing is impossible. Do you have those plans? And maybe why do you think there is that, that uh, roof that has not allowed many uh, become, come from being the guild president one, of an institution to becoming someone better in society, a legislator, maybe a president? Yes, beginning with the first question, yes, why do you invest to mm. become the guild president of an institution? You invest much mm. in articulating what you want to do. Mm. You don't say, I have this amount of money, vote me. No. Mm. You articulate your manifesto, you convince the students, I'm coming to do this, this, and this. Mm. Not I have this amount, you begin buying people's conscience, buying people's integrity at the university. Mm. Being bought, mm. buying your vote. I've seen that. Really? I've seen Maybe that they are time. a minority. Mm. At the university, believe uh, students think and uh, they act out of their conscience. Mm. Can't buy my integrity. Integrity is like virginity. Mm. You lose it once. It is gone. It's gone. Mm. Edgar, if mm. I give you money to do this and this, mm. and you do it, in the future I will not respect you. Yeah. You will have lost your integrity. Definitely. That's why I'm telling you, it's like virginity. You lose it once. Mm. So what I was telling you, you invest 
much in articulating what you want to do to the students and how do you do this? Sit, analyze the challenges they face and what solutions are you bringing on board because leadership is about solution, problem solving. Mm -hmm. You articulate uh, and it will be upon the students to either buy your ideas or not or they buy so and so's ideas. We should leave this narrative that uh, it's money that is needed for one to become a leader, this and this. No. Mm. Then, on that, a, before you leave that, mm. there's a gentleman called Jimmy who says, to manage the campaign, someone will need money. And uh, another person supports him, in, he's called Seguja, he says, yes, you're right and correct, but this is why those who invest in a lot uh, fail to serve you while in those positions. And he continues to say, it depends on the structure of the university. So this guy says you need money to manage it. Well, okay. you may need money, but money is not the primary issue. I think mm. money comes in secondary. As logistics. Exactly. Mm. Because you will need posters, mm. you will need to have meetings, this and this. Mm. But that comes as a secondary issue. The primary mm. and the first issue mm. is to bring forward the solutions towards the, the challenges facing the institution. After you have finished that, mm. then be like, how will I manu maneuver? You will need the posters. That's mm. logistics. Yes. But it's not primarily that one must have money. Money is the most essential thing for one to, to go through. Mm. No. Then, back yes. to the other question. The question. Mm. You ask, as they were asking me, mm why other guild presidents are not, uh, mm. say, at the peak. Yeah. No, when you were asking my colleague, you mm. gave an example of uh, Rumshana, mm. Nobat Mao, Asman Vasalirwa. Asman Vasalirwa. Mm. See, Katerega. Uh -huh. those are in politics. Mm. Being an important person or uh, 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 performing better in society, Person of you do not need to go into politics. Mm. It can be social, economical, or political. You can invoke any of the other aspects. I may not be in active politics, but I'm exercising my leadership talents and qualities. Mm -hmm. Now, we had the likes of the late Mutebide. May yeah. his soul rest in peace. Yeah. He was a guild president at Makere. Mm. Was he in active politics? That was 76 years. He was the governor of Bank of Uganda. He was serving in that aspect as well. But mm. he was in the economic sector. Mm. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Mm. So you have to trust them. What are they doing? No. We tend to value much politics. In that when you're a guild president from the guild, you have to become an MP, this and this. Mm. It's like we are only aiming at occupying those political offices. No. I, can't. Mm. I may not occupy a political office, but I'm doing right to the community. So you should leave implicating this and creating this in two minds of students. That after this, it's automatically you have to become an MP. What if mm. so and so fails to become an MP? Because Will he or she be regarded as a failure? It's not about occupying those political offices. Mm. From here, I may not have in intentions of becoming a legislator. Mm. A legislator. I may not have intentions of becoming a president, but I can contribute to the society. Contributing to the society does not mean occupying a political office. And my brothers and sisters, guild mm. presidents, students, leaders, you can still do better even if you don't occupy those political offices. Mm. Guild presidents, other guild leaders, like ministers, we are very many. Will they also? occupy those offices. So if they do not, will they stop serving the societies where they live in? No. It's not necessary that after this you have to be this, this and this, this and this. No. Mm. You know, I disagree. We as Africans, we have that, that mindset that uh, when you finish school, you go and marry, after marrying, you'll work until you die. Okay, maybe you buy, you buy a house, you buy a car. Your student, your children go to school, and then you've had a life. We, we, we have that narrative of thinking, I think thinking in a straight line. So you bring in something different, which many people don't, don't, don't really think about. And also, yeah. the most important people, yeah. they are not the politicians. Who are the most important people to you? 
the most important people mm -hmm. are the people who are doing the right things and influencing society, bringing solutions towards the society, helping mm -hmm. people, this and this. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, the politicians do all, all, all those roles? No. no. There are people in civil societies who are doing the right things. There are people who are offering guidance and counseling, career guidance. People, are they not doing the right thing? Yeah, actually doing the right are thing. Are they occupying political offices? Most definitely no. So we should do away with that narrative. <laughs> that it's a must after one has become a good president, all this, mm. automatically has to occupy a political office. Mm. If you or she occupies, well and good. Yeah. And, uh, Exercising your leadership talents doesn't necessarily mean occupying that political. You can mm. become a leader even if, even if when you're out of office. Mm. That's what I think. Okay. I do not know what you think. Yeah, I, I have, I, you've brought a new perspective to the discussion. Thank you so much. It's 8.21. We have a few minutes to end this particular show. Thank you so much for watching The Mighty Drive. Uh, it's time to also call in live. The number is 0789017. One four five. Uh, feel free to just call in live. Airtel is zero seven five nine two three one three uh, one zero. We join the conversation. The numbers will be flashing on that screen, uh, so that you can call in and talk to the president and talk to the minister. Uh, these people are from institutions of learning in this particular country, and we are talking about why we have that challenge of some people breaking into uh, the real political realm, which uh, Mr. President from KIU just brought us a new narrative telling us that you don't only need to serve in the political offices, you can actually serve uh, more. I also want to listen from you, find out what exactly do you think of this particular discussion. The hashtag is hash the mighty drive that is on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms. Drop in those comments, I'll be reading them, and if you can, just call in live, talk to Mr. President, and uh, talk to the minister so that we can continue forward. Uh, there is a question that Mr. Omar had asked you about Brenda and saying, uh, what did she do right that other Ugandans have not done right for her to culminate into being the Luero uh, member of parliament? Uh, Mr. Thank you for that uh, question, and I would like to thank Omara for that question. Yeah. I don't think that it is only Brenda that has done right, mm -hmm. but whoever has done what they are supposed to do and influence people mm. to trust them with, us, with those offices. Because we believe mm. a leader is he who is not seen by authority, but who is seen by influence. Mm. Might be a leader, very hard, you have that authority, but then you cannot influence people. So perhaps uh, her being the first ever female guild president mm. of Chambogo University. Or we sent to her the women at the front line conference at Chambogo University where it was launching the female students caucus. Mm. In the entire Uganda, she's the first of its kind, and she was sharing her background with us, how best she used to front herself. Even she, when she was in year one, she started from her year one, trying to front the interests of the student, trying to buy for that position, the fountain of the guild. How do I get to there? She used to participate in very many activities of the guild. Mm. How do I penetrate into this, this association? Why do I penetrate into this society? Because at the end of the day, she would always ask herself, what do I do for Chambongo? And how best can I do it? So perhaps when she gets back and be like, what do I do for Uganda? Or what do I do for Luero? Mm. Then she'll be in position to convince the masses mm. of Luero. And that's why perhaps one of the reasons that's why she was voted into that office. So what mm. she did right was to front herself, unlike some of the leaders that were not seeing themselves, th themselves fronting them. Mm. But then, like what he said, of course, politics also has a, a background of policy making. Mm. Right now, we are being trained to be what? Become policy makers. Yes. Uh, there is always a... Uh, an irony that I face in this country, how we can have a senior six graduate turn mm. into a policy maker at a national level mm. without having any other qualification apart from senior six graduate. Perhaps that's why most of the policies in parliament are still at stake. Because most of them have not been education. Most of them have not been trained to become policy makers. Mm. Um, Gisham is like saying that when you trained something and you cannot do it, then you have been miseducated. I do not want to quote him, but I want to concur with him. Because I don't think that even my brother can think it feasible mm. for us to have an MP just because of a senior six graduate. He's just a senior six graduate and, uh, and has not been trained. And in this day and era, yes. in 2022, yes. you have a senior six. Who is becoming a policy maker. So it should be important to ask ourselves, where are professors in this country at the end of the day? But professors have been, have been people who have failed in politics oftentimes. And how, what have they contributed? 
of course, we believe politics is a decision-making body of almost everyone's career. Mm. And a political position, most of them, of course, you know, a position just amplifies our voices. His voice cannot be heard as the voice of a, 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 just a common student at KIU. Mm. So once a, a position is there to amplify your voice. So if I cannot have a position in politics, do I have a, politi a, a, a position in the economic sector? Of course, the economic, economic policy that need to be influenced and uh, we believe and uh, mm. we are cognizant of the fact that Mutebi influenced most of them. Yes. Rather than Ngobi used to influence most of them even before coming to be, becoming to permanent secretary. Mm. So at the end of that day, economic policies are there, social policies are there, civil policies are there. At the end of that day, how much do you contribute to them? Before we are impatient to blame uh, perhaps the political leaders, because most of them, we tend to believe that everything must get back to parliament. Mm. What have we done as the country? That would be a great de decision we would mm -hmm. ever wish to make that. Before perhaps I test the end the evening of my time, mm -hmm. what have I done for my country? Mm -hmm. So perhaps it is what this uh, mm -hmm. Brenda, now Kenya, did for her society, did for Chambogo. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, we cannot take it away from her CV. Mm -hmm. It is there and it counts a lot. You know, people have always wanted to hear the backgrounds of people, the biography, mm. where has she come it's from? It's their where stories that we resonate with. When we resonate with their stories, they help us come with, come with a common goal that helps us build each other together. Sure, and that's mm. why they were raising some question mm. that he's supporting. But that is not criminal. Mm. So he Support. being good president, does it mean that he shouldn't support anyone? But mm. people believe that once John Bosco posts Wangusa, mm. then the following he has mm. is almost equivalent to the supporters Wangusa is going to get. Okay. So people feel like, yes, these positions influence even mm. their decision making. Mm. But we want to recall that uh, it is only a real man that can only think for himself or herself. Mm. The decision you take, whether bad or good, provided in a position to defend it, at the end of the day, it will be your decision. Once we do that, so and we also right task ourselves, of course, it has to be the right decision, provided you can defend it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Carl, I have here a gentleman called Mogisha Cohen. He, said, he says brilliance, and he gives you some applause, and he says, thank you, my champ at Otahunga. Uh, thank you so much, Mogisha Cohen, for watching. Then there's a gentleman who asked a question, and this is going to Mr. President to you. He says, we would like the president to talk about the forthcoming elections. Oh, well. Thank you. And he says the voting, uh, KIU voting is in March for Guild President. No, it's in April. April, okay. Yeah. Point of and the roadmap is already out. Mm. Uh, those who are vying for those positions have already begun uh, engaging students and mm. uh, laying their strategies. Okay. And uh, I, I had a name, Ken, yeah, he's mm. among mm. the contestants. Kenneth, yes. Yes, yes, yes but yes. I didn't want to discuss a lot. Uh, about a person on a show like this one. Mm. People may think that, hey, Mr. President, he knows he's talking about this and maybe he may be supporting so and so. That is what was bringing me to my next question. You are the president mm. who's there now. Mm. You have to have someone you're backing. Someone I'm backing? Mm. No, the power belongs to the people. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you should be a who says I'm bringing Odinga. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> At least. I'm not of a kind. <laughs> It's like I'm imposing a person on the, on the electorate. <laughs> exactly what The way they elected me, let them also elect another. You don't have anybody you're saying, uh, for me I'm teaching this one. No, no, no. To no. succeed me. No. Oh, okay. I it's, believe whoever yeah. comes up will do the right thing. And among us, the three contestants, mm. it's is it Ken. Yes, Kenneth. There mm. is uh, Moses, there is Chris, and Laban. They're all gentlemen. Your old gentleman. Oh, where is uh, the gender equality? <coughs> that is uh, SDG number one. Number four? Gender, <laughs> gender equality. equality. Like, okay, there should be women going through the rest. I don't know. It feels different if there is no woman in the rest. So it's upon them. Have they been denied to contest? No. It's and open. They're watching they can, right they now. can also come up and contest. Actually, ladies at Kampo International mm. University also come up and contest. Please come up. If you do not come up, it, it wouldn't be, uh, yeah. it's, it's maybe segregation, maybe ladies are left out. No, it's open. It's upon you. Contest mm -hmm. or leave. Okay. So uh, the guild elections are coming up in April, mm. and the guild MPs, guild MPs and the guild presidents, mm. uh, people who, as I told you, who are wishing to occupy those positions have already begun their campaigns. Then there is a, an important issue that I mm. also want to talk about. Yes, please. On an issue of uh, uh, 
a senior six mm. graduate becoming an MP. Mm, the legislator. Becoming a legislator. Mm. I also do not concur with that. First of all, in 1995, mm. when the constitution was promulgated, they put those uh, qualities. One must have completed senior six. Mm. By then, the level of education was low. Yes. And you reaching senior six was? 1995 mm. up to now, those are 27 years. Yes. I believe things have changed. And it's upon the it legislature change. to also change the law to be in line with the changing circumstances. That's how the law has to be. It has to be dynamic. It shouldn't mm. be static. Mm. It's like the law is leaving us uh, in the 1995. Now, mm. with the level of, of education. Uh, someone is calling. Yes, good morning. Yes, Welcome good morning. This is Seguja Ahmed Watanda from Chambago University. Yes, Seguja. I'm calling to submit that we appreciate the program and thanks for the inclusiveness. Okay. Why will leaders fail to join in nationally to engage with the world while after university is that some of these leaders of us decide to be compromised even when they are serving their fellow students. So when you compromise, none of the individuals will employ you just because you have lost your interview. Yes, please. So we ask these people to stay to the cause. Let them decide to serve the people, not to just be the way they are. Okay. We appreciate Honorable Tahunga Wangusa for his submission. He is another person. And this is Pekan Jakoma Sudi Wazungu for Guild President of Chambogo University. Education yeah. Revolution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Seguja. He talks about compromise. Yeah, Mr. President, you can continue. We'll, we'll talk about that uh, in a short clip. Mm. Uh. telling you, at the level of education, mm. senior six, I don't think a person of a senior six is much endowed with a certain knowledge like uh, policy making. Mm. I believe that person must have an extra training and education. I believe a person from the university it's not uh, the same as a person from uh, senior six. Definitely. And leadership is about policy making. Mm. Policy making on the economy. As senior six, what economics have you really studied? What mm. economic policies have you studied? Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is a good phase. It is a reality. <laughs> no, let every viewer mm. Mm. take him or herself as senior six. What much knowledge had you acquired? Mm. I believe that for one to be an MP, mm. he or she has to be a graduate. Can mm. be a diploma graduate, can be a bachelor's graduate, mm. but not at the level of a senior six. No, no, no. Senior this six. is in good faith. <laughs> yes, because to at the level of education, mm. I know what a senior six student can do, okay. and uh, a university student what you or she can do. They are mm. not at the same level. Mm. Most definitely. Uh, let, me, let me just read a, a message here. I have uh, Mgisha saying, Ken is leading via NRM primaries by 89%. Uh, we, we are not sure of your statistics, uh, but we shall just go with them. Uh, he says, President, kindly support Ken as your fellow counsel from, law, law school, from School of Law. And then he says, greetings from Kadu Regan, the new president of KIU Law Society. The gentleman is very, very informed about what is happening in that institution. Now, uh, gentlemen, we have 15 minutes to go, and I would like to pick your mind on something that is different. Now, this is the bigger picture. You are young people. Being young people, we dream. We can imagine the life we want. Uh, like, how many people have imagined it? The Gaddafis imagined the life they wanted. Mr. Tim Havura imagined the life he wanted. All young people in their time, they always imagine a life. We have Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, yeah, he has imagined the life. What Uganda, uh, I'll start with uh, Mr. Uh, Otahunga. What Uganda do you imagine? Which Uganda do you want to see? Uh, just to give you a point of uh, context, the Uganda we are in right now is a Uganda that is uh, characterized by torture, a Uganda that is characterized by economic instabilities, uh, poverty is still ravaging us. We still have a challenge of disease. 
and uh, Uganda is not where we would love to be. What Uganda do you imagine? Oh, well, uh, thank you. Of course, now when you get back to realizing, realizing the power of imagination, yeah. there are very many things, but uh, we must understand that uh, everything you have talked about, its backbone is education. Mm. So once you've been mass educated, then you should be in position to do anything. You have seen ourselves, young people condemning security threats, assassinations, all the tyrannical rule and all the insecurities that are in the country. But we also realize that uh, some of these officials have gone through the university. So what have they studied in the university? I don't think uh, I should be in position to go through a university, then after there, I'm in position to, to, to slash a baton on a lady who is coming from voting. I saw this in Kayunga. And sometimes I don't believe that she's older kutoka kwa mkuwa. Not at all. Because you're not going to tell that there is a gentleman putting on uh, a policy attire or another I mean, attire running after a woman. She's even done voting, a 40-year-old man, just thrashing them. And we believe these are people that have gone through the university. So if you are in position to condemn these, what are we gaining? We ourselves, what are we doing on that? We'd want to have a Uganda where education is a service, not, a mo not for monetary gains. It's a business. Yes. Yeah. I would want, uh, we would want to have a Uganda that is resonates with all Ugandans mm. and that treasures the power of Ugandans. Because you know that uh, at one of the Constitution of mm. the Republic of power Uganda. Power to the people. Yes, and then uh, not, uh, Section mm. 1, notwithstanding, mm. that is now Section 2, mm. the, the, the Ugandans or the people shall be governed and ruled with their consent. Mm. Get so at the end of the day, how do you treasure these people or how do you work together? I must believe that uh, most Ugandans, we do not love ourselves. Because if we take, for instance, what happened in COVID, the first lockdown, where, people, where Ugandans are in position to come and fake those jabs, uh, fake COVID-19, people, someone packs water in a, a bottle and then brands it covid -X and is in position to say such a thing to a, to a fellow Ugandan. So at the end of the day, we must come, to, come, come back on the table and ask ourselves, what do I want for my brother? Or what do I want for my sister? Or what do I want for my nation? It, starts, it all starts with me. So we should be important to, to believe that if you want a Uganda where mm -hmm. education can be a service, let these legislators, now the MPs at national level who are there, ask mm -hmm. themselves, why is tuition being taxed? Because everything is paid through URI. Why is it being taxed? Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, we must agree that uh, for Chambogo, in the first lockdown, uh, even after us coming back, the country grid regime was in a position to make sure that uh, it waves off direct payment, the surcharges. They weren't there. But then it was after the tireless efforts and engaging various windows of advocacy, writing the vice chancellors and all administrators, how do you surcharge somebody who has come from a lockdown, where the economy has financially been frustrated and everybody is cognizant of that, of that fact. Mm. So at the end of that day, what is the surcharge for even when the semester has been limited? Right now we are going to have three semesters in this uh, very year, mm. according to the academic calendar from the Office of the Academic Registrar, Chambogo University. So if you're having a semester of three months, and uh, a semester is supposed to be of 17 weeks, do you need to charge the same tuition? Do you need to charge the same functional fees? At the end of the day, you have to revise the think. fee structure. But, you need but, to rethink. But, but Mr. Tahunga, you talked about education as being the route to uh, maybe helping our community. Yes. But I would love to say that Ugandans have, to some extent, been educated. But, but these things are growing, like it's, it's growing, the, the indirection is growing. Uh, but, this, but we are educated as Ugandans, I would like to say, because according to maybe statistics, mm. and I don't believe in statistics just to, for clarity, we are the third, one of, I think the third or the fourth most educated country in Africa. So that level of education, you would say, Uganda or Chukubye. Perhaps I would call that yeah, education as miseducated. Mm. When you are asking him about why, lead, why female students are not in that race, mm. yes, we understand there is a women empowerment and emancipation mm. uh, campaign or movement there. Yeah. I yeah. think right now they are in the fourth or sixth wave or fifth yeah. wave. Mm. But then, should it be that he, should, he should, is it that he should be the one mm. to go and take to tap into the opportunities? Mm. So if we've been educated and we've been educated, we can do something for our society. Mm. Do we need to come and now pull ropes with the people that are already there, or we need to come and tell them, yes, Wangusa, we gave you this position, but here you're going wrong. Can we do this? Or what have I done for myself? At the end of the day, we come to realize that Ugandans are a problem to ourselves. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. We will come to believe and uh, you will concur with me that we are the biggest problem to ourselves because we see what is wrong and we keep silent about it, we remain silent. And uh, at the end of the day, it is not the other fools that will be blamed, but because for speaking out, it will be the wisest people who knew the problem and kept quiet. Mm -hmm. Those are the people to be blamed. Mm -hmm. Not the fools that saw the problems and just used the wrong methodologies to tackle the problem and at the end of the day, it couldn't be solved. So at the end of the day, when you want to have a Uganda that has education, of course, I like the education revolution. Mm. Uh, we believe everything we are talking about now because education always determines our level of exposure. Mm. Me leaving the village coming to Kampala, it was because of education. So at the end of the day, what is this exposure I have achieved or I have gotten and how is it going to influence mm. my understanding? So at the end of the day, mm. if you've been miseducated, Oh, the reason is now you see where we got it wrong is uh, when uh, we got off the traditional what the traditional myth methodologies of education. Because right now, we wouldn't be impatient to blame the parents or to blame the government for the rising mm. pregnancies, mm. just because even after bro uh, breaking the classes or rocking down the whole country, the parents never knew what to do what to do with mm. their kids or yes. to do with their children. So at the end of the day, if the informal education was there. In, to work hand in hand with the formal education. It used to be in portion to psyche balance. So at the end of the day, we come to understand every, everything rotates about the education. Mm -hmm. How do we revolutionize education? Of course, you know, revolution is for them, they're in portion to provide permanent solutions, mm -hmm. not temporary solutions. And that's why I'm talking about revolutionizing the education, such mm -hmm. that if we are revolutionizing it, we only provide permanent solutions. They might not be in portion to, give, to benefit me or him, who are in office at the moment, because we have portion to amplify our voices, but they might be for the future generations to come. I would want to tell all the leaders there that as you're in those good offices, what will a year one kid right now in Uganda benefit from when they are now in those institutions at the end of that day? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Tahunga. Um, Mr. President, we are in a country where people are being tortured. And just to give you an example, uh, one gentleman, Mr. Kakwenza, he was whipped and uh, tortured. And uh, it came at a time when uh, Kat Zuma, a West Ham player, kicked his cart in his house in uh, in London and he has been uh, you know taxed he has been fined you know just for kicking a cat but we have a person here who has been brutally tortured and it's still business as normal is is that a Uganda you imagine Mr. not at all mm. uh, first of all i condemn torture in all the strongest terms possible in the 21st century, torture is really unpalatable and it's unfashionable. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the security officers, the security personnel have sticked to torture. Number one, the law is very clear. Evidence gotten through torture is not admissible in court. Definitely. So, I do not understand why this is continuing. We need to give respect to humanity. Why torture? For example, Kat Zuma kicked a cat, mm. but uh, other people were suggesting that she should be suspended. In fact, indefinitely from the team. They want exactly. him out of West Ham. In fact, some people are saying he should be imprisoned. That's a degree to what a cat means to, to, to somebody. But now we're talking about a human being. It's really appalling, and I don't condone that. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. yes, we are looking at the person who was tortured. But we should also ask ourselves, mm -hmm. why was he tortured? Torture mm -hmm. has no justification. Mm -hmm. But we need to also look at the other side. However much he was tortured, there are certain things we have to look into. The moral decay in our society. Do we condone what he was doing? Getting on social media, abusing this and this. What I'm saying is not a justification for torture. Mm. I condemn what he did, mm. what they did to him. Mm. But I'm also looking at the other <laughs> side. Both sides. The words, the his the, diction yes, was so bad. The, the principle of Wawudi Altarem Patem, you mm. look at both sides. Mm. 
Even do though, we, okay, the torture is not proportional to what you did, but what did you do in the first place? Exactly. You know, most of us, uh, we have focused much on the person who was tortured. But what did he do? Is it the right thing? Is the society supposed to move into that direction? You know, getting the audacity of uh, standing up and abusing so and so. How much we have our freedom of expression? But we also need to limit ourselves. Mm. It's not fashionable under the disguise of freedom of speech and expression coming up and insulting my colleague here every time. This is this and this, this and this. No. You also have to check on the issue of the moral uprightness in the society. Mm. But there is a disclaimer. I'm not saying this in justification for mm. his torture. I mm. condemn torture with mm. all terms possible. Today it's against Kakwenza, tomorrow it can be against him, it can be against me, it can be against you. Definitely. We, are, we can all fall victims. We can all fall victims mm. of mm. torture. Yeah. And in fighting this, it has to be a collective responsibility. It's not for this, this and this. You it's know, not NRM, it's not NUP. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Ugandans like uh, ascribing excited. everything to politics. Yeah. But it's because some politicians have, have made themselves no. the, the best defenders of No, of, let of me anarchy. tell you. Let me tell you now. Hmm. If a lion kills your neighbor, who else? Who, next, who is next? Myself. Not you. Myself. If it kills your neighbor, you just keep silent. Mm -hmm. You have to fight it. But you have people from your government, uh, from your ruling party, who justify things like these ones. I was with one yesterday here. Justifying torture? Just fine, torture. Torture is inhuman. Anyway, mm. people are not the same. People have it's their different evident. perspectives. Mm. <laughs> but I, I, I don't think there should be justification, any justification for torture. No, no, yeah, no. Mr. President, we have be... laws mm. on the domestic and the international arena. The yeah. Universal Declaration on Human Rights, yes. the Uganda, the 1995 Constitution. We yeah. even have an act, yeah. the we Prevention of Torture Act. We have a commission that helps people, uh, you know, human rights and everything. But I want to pick your mind, Mr. Ugo, because mm. you've not told me about the Uganda you imagine. You have like three minutes to go. Uh, what is that Uganda you imagine as Mr. President where you would want your son, your daughter uh, to come and thrive in? Number one, I need uh, an economically transformed Uganda. Number two, I want a Uganda with the right education. Why am I delving on the economically transformed Uganda? You know, the economy is the most crucial and important aspect. Like Karl Marx said, mm. the economy forms the basic structure. Yes. The basic structure. If it's this building, mm. the foundation, that's the basic structure. Mm. If the foundation is poor, mm. Then the other structures, that's the superstructure. Yeah. It will definitely do what? The, the, Collapse. Is that saying I've heard that he who controls the, the money controls the state, something like that? Exactly. In your phase, yeah. One who has economic mm. power controls mm. everything. Yes. In these uh, first world countries, the uh, Chinas, the Americas, they have the economic power. Yes, they do. So the Uganda I want is mm. that is transformed economically that has economic power. If you have the economic power, you'll be in position to influence so and so. Mm. Yeah. As Karl Marx envisaged, mm. the basic structure, the, the, the economy forms the basic structure, then the superstructure relies on the economy. And if that basic structure is weak, then the economy is likely to collapse. If we have a poor economy, we shall have teachers who are poorly paid. We shall have medical doctors who are poorly paid. We mm -hmm. shall have policemen who are poorly paid. We shall have everyone who is poorly paid. Because, because all, they, all they, they are the superstructure. They rely on the on this basic structure. And how Ugandans have gotten it right? We all mind at the superstructure. All mind at becoming these youth officers, this and this. Mm -hmm. But we are not judging much on the economy. What are we doing? to transform our economy.
Mm. We need to understand the economic history of our country, mm. how it is and how it's going. Okay. For example, in 1986, mm. people b living below the poverty line, but then the poverty line was measured as uh, people who are living who are living on below a dollar mm. in a day. In 1986, it was uh, at uh, 58%, mm. now it's 20%. More than half of Ugandans. Exactly. Mm. Now, in 2014, how poverty was measured, those who are in the subsistence mm. living, Mm. Uh, who are living on hand to mouth, mm. those who are not oh, in the minor economy. Oh, Echida, that's what the e president Echida Chonk. Echida Chonk. Mm. In 2014, they were at 68%. Mm. Now, they are under 38%. Mm. So we need to understand the economy, the economic aspects, the simple, simple economic statistics of our country, how it has been, how it is, and where it's going, and what solutions are we putting forward to transform it. Mm. Okay. As leaders, if you're a leader, can you do agriculture? Because agriculture is the backbone. Actually, it's the oxygen of Africa. Mm. But are we giving it much emphasis? Are we according it the, the, right, the, the right resources? Mm. You know, because I don't know. We already know that agriculture is what is made of us. We survive on agriculture. I personally, my, my parents are pastors, cattle keepers. Mm. I believe you also do farming. Sure. But are we according it to the right resources? Not at all. Is our education reflecting our, the realities? Mm. If we are living in a country that to a greater extent survives on agriculture, mm. is our education system consistent with that? How many universities are teaching agriculture? Basically agriculture, how many? You yeah. find them in this, this and this. I think it's a few universities that have tried. Yet it's the main, it should be it's the main the emphasis. Main, but we have given it less emphasis. <laughs> okay. And the moment we divert on what is, yes. is belong to us, then we are going astray. Kali, Mr. President, thank you so much. Uh, I think we've come to the end of this particular discussion. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes uh, to just uh, say a uh, bid farewell to our viewers of today. But Mr. President, those statistics you are giving me, uh, for, uh, they don't reflect in the wallet. You, they reflect in the, <laughs> the books, but in the wallet, there are still many people who are living on less than a dollar a day. There are still many people who are working for Ichida Chonka. Exactly. Uh, there is a percentage. But, but the they, statistics but I've given you, there is a percentage for that. that. They, are, they, they are reducing, but the numbers are literally, they're not reducing in terms of what we feel as a people. But that will be a topical discussion next time. Uh, allow me just uh, say thank you for joining me. And uh, please bid farewell to those people who are watching you. Well, our viewers, mm. I want to thank you for tuning in and... Uh, being with us from the beginning up to the end. Those who are sending in their comments mm -hmm. and their compliments, I want to thank you. I also want to thank the Alternative Uganda for hosting me. Yeah. It's my first time being hosted here and I really appreciate and applaud you for that. Yeah. I wish the next time you also invite me mm -hmm. and uh, others. Yeah. It has been a very good experience uh, giving us the platform mm -hmm. to come and discuss the aspects in our country. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very good, the alternative, you can have been seeing you hosting guild leaders. Mm. I think guild leaders mm. have been given mm. less attention. We would also expect this on uh, mm. top media houses, mm. the NBSs and the NTVs. Mm. You also do the same. Because students constitute 15 million mm. of the population. What if the students say that we are going to vote for our president? How many votes does one need to become a president? <laughs> Recently, in 2021, we seven one with 5 million. How mm. many students are we? 15 million. Remove those who are under 18. Mm. Don't student. you think if we students decide we can elect our own president, we and in the end it's can. a revolution? And the young so, people, we have the... <laughs> so why the give the student leaders mm. less attention? Yeah. And this is not only to the media houses. Mm to the institutions we are coming in. Are you aware that institutions pass policies without consulting the students' leadership? Mm. 
Mm. I thought this Often was in, uh, in private universities, but I've also come to understand that in universities like Makere and Chambogu, this mm. is happening. Mm. Why? Mm. Students are the consumers of every policies mm. that are made either gov by government or any other institution. So why don't we engage them? An institution mm. exists because of two people. Mm. The administration and the students. Okay. And where the students are not there, mm. The cannot we'll so have you in part two, Mr. Them. President. We'll have you in part two. Uh, Mr. Minister, uh, please say uh, your last parting shots to the viewers. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you very much, Nefiga. It's been a pleasure uh, sharing or having this engagement with you. I remember a one Ahmed Segujabata and I was talking about the compromising mm. of the, stud of the yes. student leaders. But mm. before I give in my concluding remarks, I would like to say that mm. we cannot remind ourselves, the student leaders and the students, that uh, the UOTIA, that is the Universities and Other Tertiary Institutions Act, that is an act of parliament, and in parliament is Act 7. It is the one that establishes a public university. Section 27K, that, uh, Section 27K in brackets talks about uh, the members of the university or the students of a the university. There shall be students in a university. So it must be important to understand that uh, we are not in a university by the mass of anyone. Mm. So if you are not to be compromised, you must know that we are in the university by the fact that we are supposed to be there. Yes. So now if you are there by, by the fact that we are supposed merit. to be there, mm. why can't we do what we are supposed to do? Yes. Not attend time to say our integrity, since mm. integrity is like virginity and once roast, it can never be gained. Yes. However, uh, when we talk about uh, how university leadership or whether university leadership has paid enough law to shape the national mm. politics, mm. we have not yet done what is required of us. But we believe we can influence policies, we can influence the system, because to break the system, we must be in the system. And mm. uh, we believe having such uh, platforms shall be portion to always amplify our voices. And uh, the role of student leaders or the role of any student or any citizen, it would mm. be perhaps now when we get back the parameters of the students. What is students' role in nation building? We have activism groups. Because uh, an activism group, the reason why I'm talking about activism, for he doesn't know about the political party or what, what. Mm. It is just activating, uh, uh, um, advocating for the human rights of yes. each and every one. And uh, we believe that uh, in chapter four, uh, fu fundamental human rights and other human freedoms, you only have a right, you have a right to speech not until you misuse it. Because mm. if you have a right to speech and then you abuse it, then you cease to have that right. Mm. However much when you go to Article 44 and the global rights, you also have a right to fair hearing, things mm. of that kind. But mm. still, mm. We, have come, we have got to come back on board mm. and uh, task ourselves. How many activism groups have, have we formulated ourselves, have we constituted, and how have we, given the, how have we shaped them to give them feasibility? Mm. If there is a fixed education campaign in Uganda, championed by student leaders, how much feasibility has it gained? How much attention has it drawn from the media? If there is a student's role in nation building campaign, or if there is a student's against brutality, all these are activism groups of which I'm part, and uh, we have several student leaders. Mm -hmm. Bazira Johnson is one of them. Yeah. Uh, most of the, even some Makarians and some students from KIU, very many students have always taken part in those uh, activism groups. But at the end of the day, do we get the required attention? If you don't get it, how do we tap into the opportunities to get it? Okay. Uh, well, still, I thank you so much, and. Uh, for hosting me. Mm. This has been my first time. Mm. It has been a real fruitful and constructive engagement. Okay. I would like to thank uh, Mr. President mm. for allowing me to be part of the panel with me. Mm. I really appreciate and uh, okay. I commend the efforts of the Alternative Uganda, mm. the, the Mighty Digital Drive. Okay. We thank you very much and uh, we are always open and available to share a little benefit that we have with the nation and at the end of the day we should be in position to benefit or our okay. feet shall, shall, should be important to take us that re realization of the power to imagination okay thank you very we, much we, we'll have you guys uh it's just one minute to 9 a.m thank you so much uh mr tahunga thank you so much mr president it has been a pleasure and thank you uh, most especially to our viewers of the day thank you so much for watching thank you for those who has call, who called in and those who have sent in the various messages some have not read them but thank you uh, so so much <coughs> excuse me you can follow the discussion on our YouTube page. Uh, the link is going to be there very, very soon. And also, if you want to contact us, feel free to just call the number 0701-800-212. We'll be in that position to, you know, help you in any way we can. And uh, tomorrow, in fact, on Thursday, we shall be having the Diaspora link. It will be happening at 5 to 6 p.m. 
Then as on Thursday, we have, uh, uh, you know, the fancy flow by Teddy Tenjo Navukera. It will be there. Friday, we have the Voltage Show with uh, Lua de Princess. That's the Luganda version. On Saturday, as I told you, we have the Snap Talk Show by Ted Tenjo. We have uh, the Health Hub by Anita Musimenta. We also have Edi Solio Mukuru on Sunday evening. So, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time, we'll meet again tomorrow. The ladies will be here, uh, Luwe De and uh, Farida Bikovere, and I'll be joining them as we have the Mighty Drive on our Wednesday. Why don't you enjoy yourself and uh, enjoy the rest of the day? Good morning. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.